Hey everyone, and back at you with another bathroom confessional. I am here in my bathroom. I uh, did my eyebrows, but besides that, I've got a totally bare face, and um, I was just reading something on my weight loss forum that I'm part of on the half size community about how, you know, someone posted that they ate they felt that they ate really badly or maybe not badly, but they had some foods that increased bloating or perhaps some more indulgent foods. And then the next day they noticed that their weight was down. I'm going to switch hands. I'm so, my arm. Does anyone get this, that their arm just gets tired from holding their phone up? Anyway, um, what I wanted to just quickly touch on is the fact that the scale is just a number and I know everyone says that but honestly when you step on the scale all it's telling you is the amount of weight that your body at that particular time is pushing on the scale due to gravity and it could be weighing more because you're wearing more clothes it could be weighing higher because your body is retaining water there's all kinds of reasons that could be contributing to that but it's just a data point and how we interpret that is our own human and cultural interpretation of a value, which is a, a weight. How much we weigh is a pretty valuable thing, especially when we're dieting, we're really obsessed with that. And sure we have, you know, our clothing being looser, feeling healthier, other kind of metrics, but that the scale, I think, just draws us in so much because it's a number that is is that we can really track and something that we can tell someone else and they kind of get a sense they know oh i've lost you've lost 10 pounds like people understand that very easily however the problem is is that weight can often be sort of a reward or punishment that feels like it's coming from <laughs> like an unpredictable parent so like you you do really well and then you get grounded and you're wondering like what what did I do why did I do that and the scale kind of acts like that so you could be doing eating really really well or however you consider well for multiple days and then you get on the scale and you've gained a pound like what like what's going on with that or conversely uh you feel like you've been you've been doing really well you've been you know doing your thing, eating your vegetables, you, you go out for a night with your friend, you have burgers, you have, you know, you have a burger, you have fries, you have a milkshake, you have a beer, you get on the scale the next day, and you've lost like two pounds, and you think, like, what the heck, like, I got rewarded for eating badly, and then I get punished for eating well, and then that kind of breaks your trust in yourself, and what works, and what doesn't, and then it kind of leads to a lot of confusion, and may make you feel like you could either, like it either doesn't matter when you eat well, or it could make you feel like, um, conversely, that you could eat poorly and, st and, and lose weight, and then that's, that's a bad reinforcement. Anyway, so what we have to remember is our bodies don't know that it's the next day, our bodies don't know that it's Monday, our bodies don't know that it's Saturday, our bodies don't know that it's Friday so we deserve a cocktail, our bodies just don't understand that, our body is just trying to keep us alive the best way it knows how, and uh, to just keep us healthy and alive. That's, our body's just constantly doing that. Like right now my body, my heart is beating, and I'm alive, my body's doing a really great job at that. Anyway, so we get on the scale and our, our weight is down and we had like a heavier meal the night before but the scale isn't rewarding us from our last day's eating it's telling us things from the past week maybe the past month maybe the past several months so when we get on the scale it's important to realize that it's not telling us whether we're a good girl or a bad girl it's not telling us whether we did good yesterday or bad yesterday is just telling us how much our body weighs. And it's not telling us how much fat we've lost. It's not telling us how much muscle we've gained. It's just telling us that number. So I that's why I like to use Happy Scale. You can use the Fitbit app. Uh, I record my weight every day and I look at the average. And I also use measurements and I'm using like things that I haven't used before. Before I would just... Before, when I would try other weight loss attempts in my past, I would just get on the scale and just beat myself up about it. But I'm not doing that anymore because the scale is a data point and it is not saying whether we're good or bad. So I hope that you remember that when you're getting on the scale. 
Uh, if you like these bathroom confessionals, please give it a like, uh, a little thumbs up there. And if you like these videos, if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if you really like me, you can hit the notification bell next to it, which will like notify you when I've posted a new video. But thank you so much for watching. And I should have a more structured, edited, nice video uploaded soon. But thank you so much for watching and have a great day.